So, we are in Cancun Airport. Even getting this far through security, having had food and stuff, it's been a bit of a mission, hasn't it? We got to check in. Honestly, first of all, we took like 45 minutes in the line. We asked them, should we go in the international line? They said, no, go in the domestic line. We queued for an hour. And the guy came up to us as we were three people from the end and said, are you guys flying internationally? And we said, yes. And he said, cool, you should be in that line, which has no people in it, which we were in originally. So that wasted a lot of time, which is really annoying. We then got through to check-in. Again, we took about half an hour there because apparently your German passport. For some reason, the system was saying I needed a visa, even though everyone involved knew that you don't need a visa. You can stay 180 days visa-free. I think a manager had to come along and like, override the system, but that took very sort long of time. clerical error, but basically <laughs> that got sorted out eventually. We then went through to security. Then it turned out that the guy printed off the wrong ticket for me, so I didn't have my ticket, but then I realized I had it on my phone. So we left the queue, had to queue again for 15 minutes. I had it on my phone pass. We finally got through. Now we are just waiting for our flight to... Yeah, we haven't said. Guatemala. Guatemala. Our original plan was to go um, by car through to Belize, see that for a few weeks, then go through to Guatemala, continue down. Unfortunately, because of the COVID restrictions, they've actually closed all the land borders between Mexico, Guatemala, Belize. So you have to fly. So it didn't make sense to go to Belize for such a short time. Now we had to do COVID tests and go in and out. So we're going to go to Guatemala. We're flying to Guatemala City and we're going to get straight to Antigua, in our first town. And we are so excited to see the volcanoes, Tikal, Lake Atitlan. This is a very exciting time for us. So that's yeah. our big reveal. And now we're just kind of going to grab the air airplane via Mexico City. <laughs> grab the airplane, are we? We're going to grab it. We're going to take the airplane to Mexico City and Guatemala. All those things added together have made it a pretty frustrating airport experience, but it's all not too bad. It's very good in terms of COVID. You have to have a health certificate. They've got anti gel everywhere. Yeah, it's, again, yeah. way more prepared than they are in the UK. But um, yeah, we feel pretty safe and... Very excited. <laughs> Steph wanted us to show you her new purchase that she's very excited about, so I'll let her introduce this to you. <laughs> when you eye mask, it's got like gel in it. <laughs> See if we make it. So we successfully made it to Guatemala. We're just in the taxi now that was arranged by the hotel. Now get straight out of Guatemala City and we're going to go straight to Antigua. Where we're going to be for the next seven nights. We are very excited. So excited for the hotel. Welcome to Antigua in Guatemala, not the Caribbean. Come on in. So we are staying in the center of the old town in Antigua in an amazing location. We really love it here. We were driving through and just amazed by the architecture and also people are so welcoming. You'll see we got a very warm welcome from the dogs here, which we always love. So this is our room. We've got lovely traditional, you know, Mayan embroidery and all that good stuff. Lovely massive bed. All the off furniture is really old and traditional and the ceiling. I don't know if we can capture that. The ceiling is amazing. And then 
surprise <laughs> um, feature is our wonderful view. <gasps> oh, whoa! <laughs> It's because it's all packed together so tightly. But we got, so we got an amazing second room floor, what? Second floor room, <laughs> where we're close to go to be able to go up to the top floor and see an amazing view of the whole city. So we don't mind the wall. It's all good. If you'll follow me through, dressing area, walk-in wardrobe if you might, <laughs> and then through this lovely carved door, a lovely bathroom, sink, toilet, shower. Excellent. Hole. That is a hole in the wall. <laughs> oh, ventilation. Very important. Avoid the damp. Next, we're going to go to the pièce de résistance, the rooftop. Let's go! <laughs> Here we are on our rooftop. It's amazing. It's a kind of cloudy day, so you can't really see the volcano, but you can kind of see the shapes and shadows and oh, it's very atmospheric. Beautiful flowers. It smells really good up here. We think there might be a restaurant. <laughs> well, follow me back to the room. <laughs> the whole hotel is so cool. There's just like little areas of artwork that's displayed. The courtyard is amazing. The lovely fountain is going to make me have to pee all the time. So this is where we usually do the uh, Steph bed test. However, we seem to have already broken the toilet and that lamp. So because it's a bit of an older place, Steph's going to just gently test out the bed. Verdict? Very soft. So just enjoying the view of our lovely wall. <laughs> We're a bit tired from the travel day, so I'm just going to look for some dinner. Yeah, and then it'll be time to explore Antigua. Ooh. Since we got to Antigua, the weather has been pretty cloudy. There's only like bits of sun each um, for the last couple of days. So we've been a bit disheartened, hoping, because we haven't actually seen the top of the volcano yet until this morning. Steph looked out the window and said, oh my God, um, I can see some sun. So we ran upstairs to our rooftop and we can see a bit of the volcano. <laughs> We're so happy. It's such a, be it's such a beautiful sight from this, um, this rooftop. It's actually amazing. <laughs> so beautiful. She's crying. It's so beautiful. <laughs> We love how the silhouettes are coming through against the sun. You can see the kind of different hills and volcanoes and mountains in the background over there, and then comes round to the beautiful Volcán de Agua, towering over the Antigua skyline, which we absolutely love. Hi, <laughs> editing Mike and Steph here. We realise that one big Antigua film is turning out to be far too long. <laughs> so we are splitting this into two parts and we thought we'd leave you at the end of part one with a fabulous reel of some of the food highlights of Antigua. Yeah, Antigua has so many different genres of food and things that we've enjoyed. So here's a quick mashup of those to end this video. Yeah, see you in part two. See ya. Bye. <laughs>
discussing the fact that this was one of the biggest mistakes we've ever made. Sounds good. Yeah. Message to future Mike and Steph. Remember. Remember what you remember, did. Remember Mulan. Yes, Welcome to Antigua, Guatemala. 